That's okay, we got that sorted. <laughs> Sound get. Hi everybody, welcome to Kathleen Saves the World uh, with me and Heather who's having lunch. I think the camera seems offset. I think maybe Ian and Corey might have moved it for uh, forklift races. Oh, these headphones cord so long, cord so strong. I got delayed by getting my internet fixed. Oh, have making appointments and waiting for people. Now I'm eating food. Welcome to the internet. I saw the Superman version. I don't agree that it's good. There we are. All right, so when we last left our heroes for Child of Light, I was apparently like right at the end. Oh, G Dwarf has subscribed for 11 months in a row. Woo! Yeah. Yay. I'm gonna take a bite of this for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, irritatingly, like, apparently I'm right at the end of the game and I'm still missing a bunch of shit from the woods. Oh. Like, if you go to my map, I have. I mean, this I'm still doing. All right, that's the Palace of the Sun. Fine, I'm still in here. Gate of the Sun. This is all like the same area. Okay. I've got most of the things here. Most of the things here. Hmm. That I'm missing a ton of stuff. A ton. Like I'm like it looks like I'm missing a whole era area. Wow, yeah. So tempting to go back here and actually like screw around. I'm eating a breakfast bagel from the parsonage, because the parsonage is awesome. Because apparently I'm right at the end of the game anyhow. Oh yeah, yeah we're yeah, still, we're on, still the main on the main cam. cam. Sorry, I should have pointed Jesus, that out. Sorry. <laughs> game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got it. Normal I'll load view. up this area. Or I'll pull up my map one more time. What the? Right. Oop. Yeah. If I <laughs> go to my map, look at this. I'm missing like a whole area's worth of stuff, but here I have most everything. Here I have most everything. Pretty good. I mean, like, I don't have everything here, but I'm still like exploring that place. But this is ridiculous. I'm missing so much stuff. So, we'll screw around here for a bit. See if there's something I just completely forgot to do. Because it seems like. It seems excessive to me. Oh, well, there's something I missed right there. Yoink. So, good thing I went back. Mm hmm. And how do I get down here? Well. Hmm. Maybe from the other side. Did you solve that puzzle in the background? Yes. I had to, because the I had to light up those things so a lady would come out. Hmm. Yeah, I know that's how you get ladies out, right? Yeah. Well, then I... So, so I can... lights. So I could fight the lady. Mm. So maybe if I just go completely straight down here. <laughs> MP Stardust sounds like a DJ. <laughs> I'm not too concerned about these fights. Hopefully, so. mm. Kathleen, what other awesome places are there to eat in Victoria? They're coming down in June for a day or two, since they'll be in Vancouver for a concert. This is Phoenix Mailier? Oh, uh, geez, I mean, what kind of food do you like? Right? Like, that's the thing. And there's lots of places to eat. Lots of really good places to eat. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing too much stuff. Also, leveling up might be good, just because I don't have... I, it looks like I'm still missing a couple of things. Oh, like down here. I don't think I've been down here yet. Yeah, Victoria... Well, Victoria's a tourist town, so we have a lot of restaurants here. I'm Italian, but I eat all the things. I'll be on vacation, so diets don't count. Uh, okay, well, geez, what are my favorite places? I mean, honestly, the Parsonage is really good. Uh, Gavin, um, from Penny Arcade comes here, and, uh, uh, 
their read on it is, that parsonage, that muffins though. And I'd like to think that living in Seattle, he's got, I'd like to think a good baseline yeah. on what good food is because they have really good restaurants there. Um, uh, can I get a donair in Victoria? Yeah, you can get lots of donairs. Donairs aren't my favorite, so I don't eat a lot of them. There is meat and bread. Um, Taco Justice should be back. Yeah, the that taco point. truck that comes, that hangs out by the moon base is pretty good. What's the uh, what's the place that lets you flip a coin? Oh, Floyd's for breakfast. Boy, it's dark down here. You go. Okay. My hands are free. I can I can firefly for you now. What's Donair? <laughs> Donner. Donairs uh, are delicious. Yeah, they're not my favorite food. Um, sushi is really good really here. Messy. Oh man. There is a, there's a place called Uchida that's run by like actual Japanese people and they're only open for lunch and they're so good and they're not even expensive. It's like two bucks to, uh, or two bucks. It's like 10 bucks. Uh, can... Sorry. I can't see shit, sir. Oh, I have been down here. Maybe I missed that one very obvious piece of goodie. Um, we have people who don't know what a donair is. Like, meat and... Uh, yeah, it's meat, it's cheese, um... Oh, there's no cheese on donair, it's like sauce. Oh, is it sauce? Yeah. Well, I just assumed that was cheese. Uh, it's like a tzatziki sauce or something. Um... You it, get like uh what like kind of like a tortilla that's folded in half, but it's not it's a like tortilla. Like a pita. Yeah, a pita. Um, and they have like a meat. Uh, yeah. And when I say a meat, it's like a it's like a a, a a Turkish beef or lamb like loaf that's done on a spit, but it's like yeah, it rotates and they cut off. But it's not like it. a chunk of meat. It's like a meat product that they mush yeah. together, like sausage or something. Yeah, but less gross than that. Mm -hmm. I think there's some lettuce. Like not a lot. Uh, it's mostly meat. Yeah, it's like onion and tomato, and some and yeah, some like tzatziki sauce, which is pretty good. Um. Oops. Yeah. Um. Aha! Ack! Why do you keep hitting yourself? Hmm. I'm sure they're good with sauerkraut, if you like sauerkraut. Don't air, also known as shawarma. Yeah, that's true, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Did not know that. Alright, well. See, that looks like a secret Oh, passage. there we have a de definition. A Lebanese food, pita bread filled with ground meat, onions, tomatoes, and a sweet sauce. I like them. I don't get them often because they're really messy. Alright, well there you go. So I missed one thing, and I've got, like, one more chest that I missed. Actually, before I go this way, I'm gonna make sure I get everything here. Anything in here? Well, I think I went down here. Yeah, okay. There's nothing up this way? This is just where I was. How did I miss that stardust? I guess I just didn't look properly. Can you open it? Uh, no. If I had a key... Just locked things are just locked. If I was gonna get a key, I would've gotten it by now, I'd, th I'd like to think. Hmm. 
suspicious end of the map. Suspiciously just can't fly higher than this. A lot of people are saying they're Turkish. Yeah, I- You have the internet, you can look it up. Yeah, I always thought they were from Turkey. I mean, we do too, but I'm not looking it up. Alright, got everything It's here. your job. <laughs> That's weird that that mm. door would be locked. I feel like I would have been able to open it by now. It's been a while since I've had a lemon fog. This makes me happy. Ugh, cat cart says they're finally getting over their cold. Yay! Colds suck. Especially if you've had them for a long time. Well, the cold I got after PAX I had for like a week. Mm. It was the blurst. Yeah. Did you get the one that just makes you really tired all the time? Uh, or was it like head cold? That was a head cold. Uh. Yeah, I don't think shawarma's healthy. Oh, god no. <laughs> but it's good. You don't eat that kind of food for health reasons. You can eat it more often if that was true. I mean, but I feel like every food is fine in moderation. Uh, yeah. Well, you can only gain so much weight in a day. It's, it's not like a cartoon where if you keep stuffing your face yeah. so that you just grow bigger. It doesn't work that way. Thing, thankfully. Um, you, oh, well, if you continue all. to stuff your face like they do in cartoons, you probably just throw it all up and you wouldn't gain any weight. Not that I'm advocating that. That's, that's gross. At least I like to think throwing up is gross. I can't stand it. I don't think many people enjoy vomiting. Alright, I feel confident that I've gotten everything in that area. Okay. What's over here? Nothing. Yoo-hoo. Ugh. This is not a good place to level up. this here. Oh, probably because I couldn't jump before. Mm. Uh, Professor Megus slipped on some ice this morning, strained his knee, uh, can't walk for very long now. But thanks you for entertaining them all day. Aww. They've been watching the mini sketch series, Scrap Shoots or Shots. Yay. Well, I'm glad that you're entertained, dude. Some of those latest crap shots are really funny, too. They're very weird. Yeah. But think about it. We need to get some of that really extra weird stuff out. I'm excited to, to film the one that we wrote at PAX. Yeah, I've heard tales. Or rather, I've, I've seen a stolen jokes comic about it. But I, I like I like the last one that got put up with um, Alex and Corey. Yeah, uh, Sakai Sushi. I have no opinion on there. I've never actually eaten there. Um, I feel it's probably fine because it's been in business for years and years and years. But I don't really know anything about it.
We're also missing some confessions too, which is irritating. What are the confessions? They're little notes that float in the air. But are they they just flavor text or? Yeah, they tell the story. I'm not super concerned about missing some of these chests, which look like I just missed them because I was less observant when I started playing the game, which makes mm -hmm. sense, right? It's a big area with lots of twists and turns. Well, you don't always know. Yeah, exactly. If that's the kind of game you need to be checking everything on, or, or what. Yeah. This is why I like games that let you go back and find that stuff later. Because I, I like to collect everything, ultimately, if I can, but um, when you get games like Final Fantasy that you need to know like all kinds of weird shit beforehand. Not all Final Fantasy games are irritating like that. Mm. I've only really played 10. 10 has some stuff like that, but not a lot. Like, once That's you get the airship, you can go back to pretty much everywhere, except- 10-2 has- Oh, 10-2 is fucking notorious for that, that. horse shit. Which I played part of and then I got sick of. We don't speak of ten two. <laughs> boogie boogie. You're a floating lady. I'm a floating lady. Anything lined up if I finish those, if I finish this today. Hmm. My friend Mike, who is a really well meaning guy and he loves video games, but he's also like really high functioning and knows that uh, when he plays video games, he gets very like wrapped up in them. Uh, and there is no, he has a hard time moderating his video game usage. Hmm. Uh, um, so he tries. He's very cautious about playing video games. Uh, texted me yesterday and he was like, How is City Skylines? And I'm like, I don't know, I haven't played it yet. I hear it's quite good. Uh, yeah, that's what I told him. And he's like, No, but I have a job and a girlfriend <laughs> and, you know, shit to get done. Uh, and I'm like, uh, In that case, I have, uh, I've heard it's just Garbo and I wouldn't even worry about it, Mike. So, so. He, he gets how, like, a lot of people get with Sims, but, like, with everything. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's one. Is it is it just video games or is it, like, books and. Um, he feels that uh, it's, uh, it's open-ended video games like that. He knows uh. it's just a bad idea, because there's no reason for him to stop playing, and he'll just, like, pull an all-nighter without realizing it, mm. and he has to work. He has a lawyer. Yeah. I, I've been looking up that game a bit. Um, Corey's played it, actually, mm. so I know a little bit more about it than... Oh, wait, wait. What's stuff? that noise? Oh, it's back the other way. That's the sound of stardust. Fuck, I heard it. It was Maybe here. Maybe it's lower? Yeah, I can hear it. It's over here somewhere. Down there, maybe? Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Oh, a little secret cavern. Boop. Um. And I know it's I know it's the kind of game Beach would really like because he really likes SimCity. Yeah, I really like SimCity too. That's why Mike asked me. He's like, "You're the expert in this." And I'm like, "Well, I don't know about that expert." Oh, I totally cast the wrong thing. Oh well. Uh, City Skylines. It's it's on Steam, I think. Yep. Something I mean, like... I played the new SimCity on Steam, and it was Garbo, Garbo, Garbo. Mm. It's it's something like thirty-two dollars, at least Canadian, anyway. Yeah, so I haven't. It's um, so it's not like a cheaper Steam game, but uh, 
it supposedly does SimCity a lot better than SimCity. Yeah, so apparently. Yeah. Do you like SimCity? <laughs> well, my complaint with SimCity was that the maps were really, really small. And, like, I guess what they were going to do is they wanted you to play online, they wanted you to play with uh, regions and all of that stuff. Yeah. Wasn't it also set to be one of those online all the time games? Yes. So. I mean, I know that was why we didn't get that. Look at that. Alright, so now I have 8 out of 10, so I'm still missing 2. But I'm. Oh. City Skylands is also on the Steam Humble everywhere. Cool. I'm gonna look around. Part of part of the problem is like Beach would probably really like that game, but part of the problem is it is on the computer and he won't game on the computer very often. Oh, I don't mind playing games on my computer. I just I don't think it just it just doesn't gel with him or something. Not if I can Not use really one sure. of these. Like obviously, like I wouldn't want to really play this with a mouse and keyboard, but yeah. But I mean, Skyline shouldn't be like a big deal with a. A mouse. No, it should be better with a mouse, honestly. <laughs> it's where you first start the game. <laughs> Playable offline. Not a sequel to anything. See, I don't mind sequels. I mean, I do like new stuff, but I also don't mind sequels of stuff I already like. Oh no, I got interrupted. Piss. They'll take off eight HPs. Oh no. I know. That's terrible. It's too bad they was dead. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I heard that uh, somebody somebody says that they thought the game started out kind of hard, but then it became really really easy. That's all SimCity games. Yeah, isn't that well? Isn't that like mostly just how a lot of games are? Because yeah. you over level after a while, anyway. Or. In that sense of like, it's really hard to get money, and then it's far, yeah, <laughs> too too much money. Mm -hmm. I fought like 10 battles to get one level. Jesus. This is definitely a puzzle area I remember doing. Cause I think when you start out, you can't fly at all. You get the wings later. Hmm. So maybe there's more shit around here that I didn't actually do. Or not. <sighs> Screw you, spider. Ah, this is where you start the game. Storm 12, how's it going? I like that the chat is arguing about whether or not sequels are better or not. Sequels can be really good. I'm not saying sequels are bad. No. 
I mean, sequels can be good. Uh, they can be completely awful. Huh. It's just like a shortcut to some trees. I mean, the problem with the sequel is it will always get compared to the original. So even if it's decent on its own, whether or not it'll be good will be dependent on if it's better than the original or if people like it just as much. Or if it does, if it contributes. I don't, I don't know necessarily think sequel needs to be better than ori the original. I think as long as it's doing, as long as it's contributing to the overall, like, as long as it doesn't diminish the original in any way. Mm. Alright, I feel like I've... Dan and Storm 12 is living the dream. Why? That's his, that's his response to how, how are you doing? Living, living the, the dream. dream. Jeez, I've never, loved, I've never lived the dream before. Good for you. Oh, that's not true. I'm sure I've lived the dream a couple of times. I drafted, um... God, I drafted uh, Conspiracy once. And uh, I was in a pretty, uh, pretty straightforward black deck, black white deck. Yeah. And I drafted an Aether Searcher, which when it comes into play, it's like a seven drop artifact that lets you play another card you have named with Aether Searcher for free. And I named a Palaka Worm, which is like a big seven drop uh, green creature that I should have had no business playing and when it comes in you gain seven life and when it, and it's just it's got trample and it's a seven seven. Oh that's living the dream, I tell you what. I've lived the dream a few times, unfortunately that dream has fallen down a flight of stairs. Oh Addy Pie. Uh -huh. That's not a fun dream. <laughs> Anyhow, that's my that's my definition of living the dream. Mm. Was pretty happy. My opponents pretty sad. Are you going to Lady Planeswalkers tonight? Ah, uh, no. Oh, I can tell you what I'm doing. We're doing Arch Enemy this week. Whoops. I don't actually know what that is. Arch Enemy is like a format where you play as an Arch Enemy, like a big, t powerful thing, and people have to team up to defeat you. And I have the special Arch Enemy deck, and I have the Arch Enemy schemes. So it's kind of like two-headed dragon or giant not really you play as like a it's like a multiplayer format but one of the players is the bad guy oh okay good it's pretty sweet <laughs> you're the designated bad guy i volunteered to be the bad guy because he's like most plays the arch enemy and i was like i volunteer as tribute i'm so excited oh yeah there's some good esper decks going around too Are you a load-bearing arch enemy, Kathleen? Will the house collapse if, if you're defeated? I don't think so, no. What's up here? Uh, the Nickel Bowl's Planeswalker card? Uh, the Arch Enemy decks, in fact, do not come with any specific uh, Planeswalkers. I mean, I, if I could find an Esper Planeswalker, I could put it in there. I okay, guess so there's nothing up here. I mean, there might have been something up there at the time, but I got it. Thrill as Kathleen screws around. <laughs> yeah. to actually tell Beach that the internet got fixed. I'm sure he's thrilled. Yeah, he wanted to, um, every time we went to go do something last night, he's like, we could do this thing, and I'm like, except our internet's down. Right. Right, so no. Not really. We can't really do that. I mean, we could stream over our phones, but it's... How was not having the internet for an evening? 
Oh, hey, there's a chest right there. I have to open. I actually found that, that day, when the, the internet went down, I just played more video games. Because <laughs> mm. I, I didn't have... Um, I mean, I had access to like my email and everything, but I didn't have like um, access to Netflix and a bunch of other stuff, really, because I didn't want to use all my phone data on that. Mm. No. I mean, I, I could. I, I have a fairly decent phone data plan. But... Decent as in some gigs and not decent as in what I have to pay for it, but... Oh no, I did open that one. I'm stupid. It looked like I hadn't for a second. But yeah, I just, I just played more video games. Because I have a ton of offline video games. Not a bad situation to be in. Yeah. I almost wrote a book. Ooh. But you decided to play video games instead. Well, I, I started playing uh, around with Hyrule Warriors, and, and I, it had been a little while since I'd picked it up, and then I was like, oh, this thing got at it. Oh, and this thing here. And I was just like, on this little, oh, I haven't played this game for a while. Everything's cool again. Like, I feel like mode. there's something over so. here. Maybe not. It might just be decor. I don't know where to go from here. Let me look at my map. Mathilda's Forest. Alright, so I'm still missing two in this area. God, what could they possibly be? I feel like I've explored the Tree of Thorns pretty well. Mm. I still haven't done that Sector 88, but I do need to try that out. In Hyrule Warriors, in one of the DLC packs, mm -hmm. you get to fight uh, a challenge as Ganon. Ooh. This is a giant monster thing. And uh, it looks pretty sweet. It does sound pretty sweet. And I haven't, I haven't done that yet, and it just came out like you know, last week or something. I feel like I've been very thorough. Agreed. So... Hmm. Yeah, you do need to A rank all of them to unlock the giant cuckoo. I've heard that. That sounds irritating. But I do want to fight as the giant chicken. Because that sounds fun. How is this not a secret passage? It seems like it could be a secret uh, Kathleen, passage. Kathleen, you haven't looked where the two things are yet. I ha I realize I haven't looked where the two things are yet. Thank you very well, much. Yeah, we, we know there's two things missing, so clearly we haven't looked there. Unless you're trying to hint and be vague, which case... Just don't be vague. Don't, tell me don't be the, vague. Tell me where the F they are. Yeah, in uh, in Hyrule Warriors, the, the the chickens are actually the most annoying enemy really? because they will they will follow you around, and they are not they don't die right away like everybody else does. Really? Yep. And they will call other chickens to follow you around. <laughs> They're super annoying. This is why I want to play one. Oh, you get to play as a giant chicken. Yep. In, uh, in one of the challenge areas uh, in the new DLC, apparently if you like A rank a bunch of stuff, you can. We've uh, Beej and I have played the game in two-player mode, and we found that the chicken will actually just follow the first player, so he will run around, All right. leading a an army of chickens around away from everything while I go and clean everything up. <laughs> Uh, this game is for PC. I think you. Uh, you can get it. Like you can get it on Steam. You can get it uh, for the Wii U, actually, because that's what we have it for. Yeah. Um, I think you can maybe get it for a couple other things. 
Not totally Like, it's been sure. out for a while now. Like, this game is not super new or anything like that. But it's really good. It's an Ubisoft game, if you can believe it. I love it when companies make little beautiful games like this. Hmm. Yeah, Valkyrie Lemons, if you attack the chickens, they just get enraged and mob you. It's, um... Yeah. And of course, sometimes you actually have to attack the chickens. Do you actually have to attack the chickens? Mm. There are certain stages that are set that have... Oh, um, it's on the Vita, too. Gold versions. That oh! Will, uh, uh, that if you don't defeat, will actually start taking over territory, and they're super hard to fight. Right. Especially if they've taken over territory. Village is still part of this. I don't think there's any goodies around here. They're actually putting out a physical Vita release soon. What, for, for Child of Light? I don't know why you would need to do that. Oh, what's down here? A gust of wind. We have a suggestion of going down the well. Oh, and the you can go down the well in the cat in the Kefili village. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I guess so. We should play Golden Sun. If there's a... You have to play part one and part two. Holy shit, I had no idea this was here. Well... I love the chat. Well, no wonder I'm missing two bits here. This is probably where most of what I'm missing is. I don't know if I said that I would or that I'd consider it. I probably said I'd consider it because I'm usually very good about my wording around you people. How are you enjoying, um, The World Ends With You? I really like oh, it, actually. I have down here. Look, I've opened a chest. Yeah. I've, uh, I really like it, actually. Um, even with its weird, complicated combat. Uh, I've heard Ori and the Blind Forest is not Child of Lighty in that it is quite challenging. saying that, Dented Storm, but if you do find an area where I do say it, uh, point it out to me, and I will, um, Hello, spider say friend. that I guess I lied about that. Yeah, it's more of a Metroidvania game, I've heard, too, yeah. Golden Sun? Uh, or sorry. in the Blind Forest. Or in the Blind Forest. I got confused. Too many games. I can see why the world ends with you might have made you go cross-eyed Addy Pie. That game is complicated as fucking balls. <laughs> right? How do I get down there? I've already been down there. Hmm. But yeah, don't you need to go down the well for some sort of plot-related reason here? I'm 
I'm not a fan of this him of, uh, of people dodging my attacks here. Omnicrat has resubscribed for four months in a row. Yay! Oot. I have no more bagel to eat for you. I'll drink this. Ah. Oh, apparently eating is how you level up, Heather. Oh, like, really? Oh, well, then I need to go buy more food. I'll do that after stream's over. Well, I guess that's the only way it showed you how to raise your stats. Well, of course I've been down here. You've been down there? I don't know if I've been down here or not. We'll find out. I mean, it didn't seem particularly hidden, so, yeah. Looks like you've been down here. Pie is determined to go back and finish The World Ends With You before the next stream. Good luck, Addy Pie. There you go. So you want to eat all the time. I mean, that makes sense. You gotta keep your strength up. Could you uh, hit the... Oh, sorry. I got distracted reading the chat. Yeah, I, I, we, we kind of saw some of the clothing stuff yesterday as well. And it was um, like, I can't afford any of these things. Yeah, we uh, didn't really have the money yet. That's okay. We'll do some grinding, I'll get some money. Maybe I'll wear some new clothes next stream. It'll be exciting. And stylish. I missed a chest. Oh. Uh, yeah, we we did oh, we did thank you it. for subscribing, Omnicrat. So uh, I guess you saw that during commercial. I took a sip of this drink for you. I'll do it again. Mm. Such a such <sighs> such sacrifices Heather goes through to keep you guys happy, having to drink her delicious London fog, right? Lemons. No. Oh. oh no, are you okay? Okay, there's a thing over here. Ooh, that's a really good prize for this point in the game. Oh, this looks like everything. Oh, the fledgling phoenix has re has subscribed for two months in a row. Yay! Order drinks more. Mm. This would be better if you were drinking whiskey. I don't like whiskey. No, I don't like whiskey very much either. <laughs> Somebody asked me why I don't like whiskey, and I said it's because I drank so much of it one New Year's, I started throwing up Pepto-Bismol. Like, that's how oh, upset my oh, stomach was. Oh, no. Yeah, I could see why that would drive you off. Yeah, it's like uh, when I was a kid I didn't like uh, root beer schnapps, or I guess a teenager. Because I had had so much root beer schnapps that I had given myself alcohol poisoning. See, that seems like this was where some stardust was. Slapping would like to know if we're looking for anything special or going for 100%. Uh, no, I just want. I want my. I don't care about getting every single chest in the game. But what I do care about is getting the stardusts I'm missing, and I don't know where the F they are, so. Also, confessions if we happen upon them. Yes. Yes. Yeah, confessions would be good. I don't know where the ones I'm missing are either.
Andrew. Andrew! How's my favorite Steam Bro? Where am I? Stuck behind a wall! Oh, I'm, I'm out of London Fog. I can't drink anymore for subs. Marquinius has subscribed for five months in a row. You are you and Ashton are working on a fun thing. Um I like fun things. I mean it's probably not a fun thing that I'm involved in, but Alright, I got no more liquid left. That was for you. Marquinius. She did her best. I've been down here. Mm. Let's see. Confessions am I missing? I'm missing. So this is one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I haven't opened all of them. Oh, Valkyrie Lemons. I can't just pretend that I'm drinking delicious London fog. I wouldn't make the face that's all like happy. It'd be like, oh, I'm having delicious London fog. It'd be like, I am faking drinking delicious London fog. It doesn't exist. What the? All right. The centuries have been unkind to us. Gods forgotten within the, gods forgotten within the within white temples fade. Under lidded eyes the palace sits frayed. Doors closed behind bleached rooms gathering dust. The gilded thrones gleam muted by dull rust. Rings worn into walls, chart neglect laid. Strata of history cleaned by no maid. No breeze mirror shut, glass mottled with must. I feel like if the, my editor is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to the point. We don't need two verses for that. The explorers stand still. Statues bleached white. Eyes lidded. As empty as the room. Plans fade for a future repainted bright. Pristine comes unclean without a fresh light. The past reigns skeletal holding a blank slate. The gleaming potential of a tomb. Interesting. Our bodies cut like dragonflies in the air. Dividing. Uh, parceling the winds for later. To unwrap carefully under the stair. Like bark, our skin stores fire. Our skin stores fires, blinding blue flare. Earthquakes at our our bones shake at their equator. Arc light from the sky dances in our hair. Gifts all hidden beneath surface willpower. Raging rivers sub subterranean, pure. Water tapped before the explorer's tower by wild ones, keeper of magic power. They alone divined the deep source obscure. Their grasp brought Lemuria Lemur Lemur to flower. And instead of giving, we build cages and bury truth, hide our world from the ages. Uh, some say an idea can be dangerous, like creepers in the garden so serene. Beneath, sprawling plants, twisting unseen, exposing buried heads insidious, uprooting order created for us. Frantic vines dividing stone and stream, intent on sacrificing virgin green and turning tended rose to wilderness. But what of those who nurse the garden fair? The curious bees darting bloom to bloom. From outside the garden's limit they may be, or they be, and bring abundant life to nature's womb. Their fearsome sting may cause the meek to flee, but tangled creepers they coax to bear fruit. I think bees will be fine without people. <laughs> oh, bees will be perfectly fine without people. <sighs> Pen scratches paper, the first to attack. Some lines end, ink out, well impotent, dry. Others drip. Ruining many an eye. Some run off the page and never come back. Others bleed, cloaked in the g in ugh, in, glowns, in gowns of black. Father above son, rarely crossing wives. Boxers in pair line up to die. All burn as they sign the hollow pact. Treaties, trees, and battle plans end the same. Under one roof extinguished, or under one roof executed, spell cried. Our kin ambushed in sign bell's name. Family strikes out family for crowns red dyed. Ink on paper drips like... Uh, drips down, brows like rain. Poison pen plants a forest of pain. I don't even know what's going on here. <sighs> uh, confession 10 is at the floating temple. When you and Nora reach the magic mirror, fly above the mirror to get the confession. Oh. Cool. Uh. 
Uh, all right. So they say the four out from out of the darkness came. Mathilda shaped cruel nature with her art. The surging ocean sign bells math did part. Rampart spread his wealth upon the barren plain. Aaron's spear lit the highest peaks of flame. These are all places in Lemuria. They say the explorer's heart lies the secret of ages to impart. Through its fire the wilderness they did tame. But if all was dark, from whence came their spark? Light dances along a chain, flaming bright, spreading out to bridge the cold empty night. Star to star trailing blooms of red hot fire. Such a path must span our sky's blackened arc, leading to another dawn, a lost light. Ugh. <sighs> okay. <sighs> my eyes wide, mirrored black. I, I didn't realize these, these were so long. I touched the glass. Here, by my hand, Seinbell's daughter exiled. Enemy of Lemuria reviled. Painted smile. Loyal Onegus made her pass. Path closed to all but the criminal class. Decreed since the ancient rift was styled. A forbidden reflection, untamed, wild. Fit for those beneath the chaotic mass. On this side nothing moves. Calcified, the explorers went in search of vision. Yet with tradition we found ourselves in prison new. Frozen, a reflection of the past. The secret lies beyond my gaze. Journey vast, the glass I touch. Touch I do, then fall through. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Kathleen, her eyes wide. Jalad at Tagra. Uh, smoke boils black. Fire slides on twin slicks of ice. Through cities hot, ideas dance in the bars at night. Oculi unheard of. Forgotten light. Invention seems to an engine. Dream device. London's exhibition halls visited thrice. The salons of Paris lit with paintings bright. Munich makes music of transcendent might. These wonders of Europe more than entice. But between glimmering bulbs most wander lost. The men here come and go, cloaks tight in distrust. The women tie their throats shut. All, all know only cost. One wears red, one, one blue, and flocks split. They rust. Only the few whose gain beard, whose gaze burn clear of frost. I will, with Lemuria's secrets, trust. Interesting. Uh, note fifteen, fourteen is also after passing through the magic mirror. So ten and fourteen are available around the mirror. Okay, I don't remember where that is, but. Uh, I'm not reading these anymore. No. No, no. It's fine. <laughs> I'm surprised you read so many of them. I didn't realize they were so long. <laughs> And then missing. Yeah, because you are missing 10 and 14. Yeah. That's not... Hmm. Sophie Ashton Ellis. Question mark. Hmm. Do you want in spook for first voice? No. <laughs> question, question. And then, oh no! I don't, hmm, interesting. They, they stopped rhyming after a while. Well, they, we changed or... it to a different kind of story. Yeah, we're gonna take a quick break. Maybe I'll look up where those things are. I don't know. Wait. You moved the mouse. Sorry. I, I stopped. I, I stopped. It's uh, back. It's back. So, where? Temple of the Moon? Forgotten Tower? That's where I need to go? Yeah, I have no idea. If anybody can tell us where the two stardusts I'm missing in sort of this huge, vast area are, let me know, because I have no clue. Alright. Apparently, 12 was close to the end. Palace of the Sun. That's cool. I'll remind you after you guys get the other three. That would be great. Yeah. Because we won't remember. I'm going to maybe look up where those other two stupid stardusts are. Uh, and we're going to take a short break. 
Bye everybody, see you in like five. It's time for commercials. Go and take commercial. Kathleen is going on commercial. Hi guys, how's it going? I guess right in time for the end of my stream, let's fight a boss. Because I got bored. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. I've screwed around. I'm out of the poisony room. Uh, holy shit! What? Ah. Don't die, Kathleen. Got there. I had no idea you could open those chests. Neither did I. <laughs> there. Well, I mean, they're they're not. They haven't tweeted about Twitch being fixed, so I hope that it is fixed, and that that this doesn't just decide to drop. But well, I mean, it might. I guess I'll possible. never find. Oh, I guess I need to get down there. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Twitch came back just in time for your stream. Oh. Thank you, Twitch. Let's go fight a boss. Boss fight. Nox, you're a bee. Whoop. Your trick shall not hold me. You are a bee. A ruler you will never be. Ooh, caffeinated lemur. Oh. Tennis ball bringer of doom. Destroyer of chests. A ruler you will never be. The e this is the end of your family. Don't worry, you'll rejoin their number. Our land, she'll be up top, yours down under. Alright, become a boss and I'm gonna beat you up. A bee, a bee isn't a bitch. That looks, um, scary. Whoa. Uh, identical tentacles. Three tentacles, eh? Uh, well, no, two tentacles and a head. But you probably need to get rid of the tentacles. Oh, Gen, Gen is good in this fight. She's naturally water resistant. Uh, I will defend this time. And here's what I'm gonna do. Here's my unstoppable. Adult Dawn has resubscribed for six months in a row. Welcome to the stream. Alright, now, without being... There. Now which tentacle did I hit first? We'll say left tentacle. Good choice. Sure! Well, it's gone now. I mean, I'm sure it comes seems, back. Seems like a good choice. Oh! Now to swap out for somebody who could do some real damage here. You're a water monster. I'm guessing it's lightning strike. That I lightning do. seems like it would be pretty strong. Oh, sea serpent's kiss. That seems bad. Holy shit! Uh, yeah, that was like half my HP. Pretty bad. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that seems super good. Ha! 
interrupted you. Oh, you can't the interruption. With a wall. Oh, you can't be interrupted. Uh, that makes it or unstoppable. Uh, as in, like, magic unstoppable? Uh, yeah. Oh. Well then. Oh, that's okay. That was pretty good. Yeah, that seems very, very, very decent. She's unstoppable, so it doesn't matter. Alright, this should make my life a lot easier. Nope, that's not what I want to do. I want to cast Lightning Strike. Could you, like, get me some more MPs from those plants? Yep. MPs come through. MPs, shit. Can't help you. Oh, that's okay. I have so many. Right, I'm using characters I never use. Jesus. Oh, finally. At least the tentacles went down easy. 60,000 experience for that? Holy shit. Level ups for almost everybody. I mean, that should be everybody. That should be at least a level. Oh, it's the queen! How we eat the sun, right? We become... We become an old lady now? You belligerent bellicose brat. Fortunate that you... Fortunate you are a merciful stepdaughter. Give me the moon and the stars, and I will let you go home to father. Uh, no, I feel that's a trick. You have tricked me once before. Don't be dumb. Well, let's find out what your character does. Well, that's some guilt tripping right there. Aww. Oh, wow. Oh, that was sad. No. <sighs> My crown. Eat the sun. 
Go digest that for a bit. Oh, this is a cutscene. Cut we can't do anything. I remember this part of the game. Or this. We went here. This is where we woke up. Oh, it's our mom! Tim126, or do you seriously have nothing better to do? If you want boobs, you can look online. Yeah. I'm sorry you're such a terrible scrub who doesn't know how to use Google. <laughs> I know lots of people who really like their step parents and are happy. Not in fairy tales. <laughs> I suppose. It's, it's, it's the general rule in fairy tales is step parents are evil. If you live with like old people though, like grandparents or even people you consider grandparents who are not actually your grandparents, generally okay. Do I get one last transformation? I do! Ooh! Now you're in white. And my crown came back! Behold, the Princess of Lemuria! Ma'am? Aw, oh, it's really pretty. She's got like a ghost crown going on. Hmm. Uh, first you have to go beat the Queen of the Dark. Aw. Yay! <laughs> Even Robert gets the his his friend that he wanted. I get to take my friends with me, though, don't I? I also get to use all those levels I cranked up in the last fight, right? I would assume so. I don't know, I like Umbra's outfit better, but that's just me. Well, I mean, you've always been more into black. It's just more- it's a more flattering color. Although Umbra needs to learn that, like, you can't do a big eye and a big lip, it's- you gotta do, like, intense eye makeup or, like, strong lip. Not both. See, Aurora? Big eye, minimal neutral lip. That's my pro makeup tip to you. Aurora, the exiled child. We share that in common from long ago. 
Cast out, curse to walk among the common and the weak. <laughs> Why your foolish mama left Lemuria, I will never know. Murderer. Right of wrongs, the greatest civilization we. Descended from, I am from Seinbel the Wise. You from Aaron the Conqueror be. Oh, this is like a, this is like a Slytherin Gryffindor sitch here. Mm. <laughs> we explorers inherited this world. It is our prize. Princess, welcome home, heir to the throne. Princess, I most certainly, er, most certainly not. I am Aurora, alone. The stone has crumbled into dust. Empty the halls be. What was, what once was, what, what once was is long dead. A failure of a country. The Lemurians survived. Once you are gone, we can build anew and thrive. You would give this land to the common tribes? We fight for the citizens of this country and their lives. Democracy! <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> Brave heart. <sighs> She's right. This is bigger than me and my family. I raise my sword for the populi. For the uh, Katagita. For the Aerostati. The Kefili. For all of Lemuria. Together we are not afraid of you. Oh, power of friendship. And and all this, all the d d diverse peoples uniting. God, the United Nations could learn this lesson. I will do what my mother could not and stop this heresy. This land is mine to govern as I see fit. It will never be free. Hmm. In Austria, you evade. You evaded my poison's pull, but now the last of you will Ooh. fall, or whatever she said. Dragon. America. The power of friendship and of ethnic diversity. Alright, let's see. How do I start this? Maybe I just cast haste? Haste seems like that might be good. Actually, you know what I actually do this as I, I cast unstoppable on everybody who knows what everything is weak to well I mean it's probably darkness so probably weak to light oh yeah dur Oh, countering magical attack, eh? Uh, you don't need to blow those up right away because they don't—they take a long time to regenerate. Uh... I'm going to switch for Aurora. So maybe I should switch for. Gen. Actually, no. Gen's once I got kind of set up. There, deal with it, bitch. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All my points. <sighs> oh. Oh, that was a counter attack. Oh my god. Ah! Whoa, I am low on HPs.
you serious? Hey, it can bring them back. Way less HP, though. Ugh. You're fine. But I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna guess. Yes. Again. <laughs> Maybe I'll just defend this turn. I don't care if you counter my interruption if I stop you every single time. Oh, how does that work on bosses? Bring in the character I never use. All right, he's still hasted because I took him out of battle. Die, bitch. <laughs> I only wanted a home. Well, why'd you fucking kill everyone then? I want to take their homes. Someplace I could call my own. In this world, for ill or good, we live together, not alone. D E D dead. Oh no, the Duke is dead. Your dad died. Austria's fucked. The bell told six on Easter Sunday. All looked quite lost. The people cowered on five hilltops that were nearly under-tossed. As the icy deep rose to meet them, 
who should unexpectedly appear. But Aurora resurrected, with a host of creatures queer. Lickety split, the group split up. And in less than half an hour, Aurora and her friends led the people up the castle tower. They entered to an empty room. The water lapped at their feet. No way out except to drown. Their doom they were sure to meet. <laughs> but of course Aurora smiled. Before their eyes, astonished. To a mirror she let them, and they stepped through it instead. From that day onward in Austria, only a small island remained. My people safe in Lemuria, their future regained. And Lemuria began to grow again, each of us leading together. Soon it will be your turn, princess, to leave on an adventure. Now, my dear, the fire has died. The night is dark and deep. Close your eyes, let go, and drift off to sleep. Aww. Yay! We did it! Yeah! Except, I mean, we went to the mirror world of the dead, right? Like, isn't this the twist that everybody there is dead? Well... I don't know, it's magical? I don't know. Not dead anymore. Well, thanks for- thanks for- thanks for joining me for the stream, guys. Uh, we're gonna go offline now. Uh, but, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna eat my lunch, which arrived, like, 20 minutes ago, and I'm very hungry. Um... <laughs> Uh, oh, stick around for the end of the credits. All right. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna eat while this is playing. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Eat. Oh, they there cut my bagel in half. That's also, new. Also, there was a sub during that. Uh, Briars the Fox subscribe. Are you subscribed 14 months in a row? Yay! Hey! We were going through that ending sequence. We did not not notice you. We were busy watching a thing. All of this will be on YouTube eventually. Now we have two internet lines. Yeah. Men's help. Mm hmm. Someone says it's okay. I'm also eating. I mean, you gotta eat. Thing you gotta do. Mm -hmm. One day before the end of the world, indeed. And so we can stream and upload video at the same time. Yeah, cause cause uploading video while you're streaming kind of mm. doesn't doesn't work so well. No, you can't. I got a crummy download and it causes the stream to skip frames. Beautiful, simple, sweet, very nice game. I would have been able to finish it in plenty of time on stream, I think. Had oh yeah, no easily. Had uh, Twitch not pooped its pants today, but you know what? I know that we everybody's like, oh come on, Twitch for fuck's sake. But this technology was like totally like would be amazing like five years ago. So I don't know. Perhaps I am more selective. Or more forgiving of well, technology, technological I mean, fuck-ups. It, it went down for like a couple hours. It's not mm -hmm. a big deal. Not in the scheme of things. Since we still finished the game. That's true. Mm. It means we got a new game next week. That's exciting. Oh, new game. I don't even know what I'm gonna play yet. Well, you got some time to figure it out. Yeah. 
I am open to suggestions, but I have some pretty strict criteria for what I'm gonna play on stream. I'm not gonna play a game that's like super challenging and distracting. Hmm. Like people have suggested I play The World Edge with you, and I was like, I looked at that game and I was like, no, it's supposed to be really fun, complicated. I can't stream that. And I don't know if you could stream that. And you're better at playing games than me, <laughs> just by yourself. I'm gonna put me to sit in here doing. Oh, I mean, truthfully, if I'd known that that was the mechanic and I didn't have a co-host, that's not something I would stream. Because mm. um, that's, I don't know, part, part of, I think part of streaming involves, like, trying to, uh, you know, talk to the chat as well as play the game and stuff. And Yeah. Uh, when you get a game like that, I can't, can't do both. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, out of my own. I've said many times that I can do that's tr that I can play a game well, interact with the chat, and be an engaging streamer. But I can't do all three. I can have to. I have to pick two, which yep. is why I like playing these games because I can be an entertaining streamer and interact with the chat. Uh, yeah, I don't think you'll see Beige playing Earthbound because he played it all at home. Mm. So I, I just don't see him playing it on chat. Mm. Or on stream. Mmm. Aldrazi Outlaw says, we've never seen- some people have never seen Persona 4, and neither has Heather. That is true. Mm, so Those long. True things. It's so effing long. And there's so many good games coming out in like a couple months. Oh yeah? What, what are you looking forward to? Devil Survivor 2. Mm -hmm. Bravely, uh, Bravely Second. Final Fantasy Type-0 just came out. I don't want to play that on stream. Okay. Final Fantasy Type-0 did just come out, but I've heard you play that game for the combat. Mm -hmm. And that's not the kind of game I want to play on stream. There was, um... I popped into, uh, uh, Checkpoint briefly, and you mentioned Lost Dimension? Oh, that's Vita? not out yet. That's not out for a while. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, these are long credits. People keep telling me to play Golden Sun. Golden Sun is a GBA game, but you can get it on the eShop. Um... It's it's an RPG. Uh, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've played it. So I can't really... I don't know if you'd like it or not. But it was... Uh, I they, don't know they, either. They did, they did Golden Sun in two parts. Mm. On uh, two cards. So they, they leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger at the end of the first one. Because you only get through half your task. Mm. Am I... City Skylines. Tempting. Tempting. Because I do love that kind of shit. Oh, I love Chrono Cross. I have Chrono Cross. We have a PS1. Yeah, that's why... But my concern is I don't want something... I want something shorter. Because Bravely Second comes out in a couple months, and I don't want to start Persona 4, because that would probably take, like, six months to play through. Because mm. it's so long, and I'm building... I'm going, like, three hours a week, right? And we all know that you would just drop anything that you were playing and go straight to Bravely Second. Yes. The moment it comes out, because that is that is just what will happen. No, I've already told everybody I'm going to kick everybody off for, like, a, a marathon release day stream. Ooh. Costume quest? I will look into it. Oh my god, there's so many credits here. A lot of people worked on this game. I mean, this might just be everybody who works at Ubisoft. That's possible too. The web user experience manager? The web user experience manager and specialist had nothing to do with this game. Well, yeah, not directly. Mobile producer intern? Ah. The strategic planning manager? Come on.
North American Age Rating Manager. How do you need a manager for that? How do you need, how do you need a CMK director, but not a CMYK director? And then they have whoa, and then managers and senior analysts. What? This is not a free to play game. But it does have in it does have DLC purchases. But that's not free to play. That's true. <sighs> Brand managers. E E M E A. What is that? Europe, Middle East, Asia? Maybe. Sure. Come on. These people have never even seen this game. Why are they in the credits for it? Uh, resume padding? I guess. I can see a digital certification specialist being required, because this is a digitally distributed mm. game. <sighs> okay, the PR manager had nothing to do with this. Digital sales director. Okay, can see that. VP digital publi publishing? Sure, this is a digital game. Oh my god. Hey! Hey, there we go. Well, thanks for playing. That generally means credits are done. Or close. Almost. <laughs> I've wiped my hands off on my jeans. There's a lot of people they need to thank. Especially. Okay, there we go. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh, uh -huh. this came out came out last year. I thought it was like two years old. No, yeah. it was just last year. I think it was like. Oh, the Roland beginning. Rollis died while watching these credits. <laughs> I don't think that's what that means. <laughs> no. Aww. She's a qu now she's a queen through and through. But she forgot to talk to you. She has more important things to do. Watch over Lemuria. Goodbye, my queen, Aurora. Wait, what? Okay, great, so I'll come back to that. What? You can still move. Sick! I would have liked to have lauded these skills. Maybe. That would have been useful. Wait, what's this? HP's? Eh, maybe not so useful. Magic defense? That might have been useful. I see. Robert? MP? That's okay. Don't really care. Strength? Seems good for him. Oh wait. Did I just- Ah, Shit. I was on the wrong character. I would have rather given him MP. Alright, what do you get? Double hit. A skill I never used. What could I give you instead? A defense upgrade? Sure. Uh, yep, that seems useful. Finally! Better taunt! Boy, that would have been so much better <laughs> at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Here, have some more oh. MP, even though you literally never used an MP skill ever. That. Didn't use that one either. Alright. By the way, while you guys are away, uh, look at what I did. I made so many gems. Yep. I was so bored. I had we, nothing we, better we to do. We were grinding. Grinding, grinding, grinding. Where do I go? I, this might just be New Game Plus. Or... That doesn't make sense. I have all of my abilities. I'm Yeah, and I'm also still level 54. Well, you didn't talk to the queen. Oh okay. yeah. Although she kind of disappeared, so I'm not sure if you're supposed to. Well, let's go talk to the queen then, shall we? 
No, I'm hitting the level. Now I find the edge of the level. The game is just letting you explore, but there is a game plus. Oh. Oh, this is the ch chance just to get. Oh, well, I got yeah. all so the stuff. We're, we're, we're done. Oh, I thought I was gonna see something cool. Oh, we got all the confessions, by the way, too. Yeah. Confessions and Stardust? Stardust. Yeah. Check out my cool map of Lemuria. Finally, ten. I missed a bunch of chests there, but I don't. What? Apparently, you missed two Stardusts. I don't care that much. I didn't need them. All right. Well. All right, we're done. We're After done. all of that, there's nothing else I'm missing, right? You you tell us, right, Chad? Can. Clenchy's what says, Cat Catelyn, can you give cats a small piece of cooked beef, or is that bad for them? I give my cats cooked meat all the time, as long as it's, like, cooked. I don't yeah. give them, like, rare beef, because I'm not sure. I mean, it's probably fine, but I don't. Uh, better not to. Yeah, I give my cats cooked food all the time. It should be fine. So you can talk to the Queen of Light for something extra? I have no idea. All right, we're going to take off. Yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for sitting through those credits with us for... Uh... Mostly no reason. Time. Bye. Where did where the thing go? Run some is. commercials. commercials. Yeah. 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 That's not muted.